Hi everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to make these little seedling cups if you run out of these. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, for today I'm going to make a super easy and cheap, could be free, um, little seedling starter pots. Um, we're going to use newspaper to make them. As you can see here is an example of ones that I've already started making. Um, and they're, so the reason why I started making these is because these are the ones that I normally get. These are my seed starter pots from the Dollar Tree, a dollar for 12. That's a good deal. Another option that I do is I use toilet paper rolls. Um, I can cut them in half or just use the full one um, to start the seeds in because this is biodegradable. This is biodegradable and using these things do not disturb the roots when you're trying to transplant the plant to a bigger pot. Um, so I came to a point where I didn't have any of these left. I didn't have any of these left except these three that you see here. And I needed to make more. So I figured out how I can wrap the newspaper around the tubes. And then I'm going to seal that with this, um, the, um, it's a type of glue made out of flour and water. Um, paper mache glue made out of flour and water. All right. And you'll need a paintbrush. So, to actually, um, another option I'll just talk about really quick. Sometimes, if you don't have anything else for seeds, um, I saved this Waffle House uh, take-home container um, for, like, microgreens or lettuce or small um, things with small root systems. I would recommend the microgreens, though. Um, put a little bit of seed starting mix in here, pop a few drain holes in there, and then this cover is like, has a little bit of air holes, so it's perfect for, um, a little humidity dome for the first few days until they erupt, so. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say was that they have these new seed trays out. It's like the hex hexagon shape and it says here that encourages a better stronger root system minimizes transplant shock eliminates circular roots so the circular roots is from it like going around and around because there's nowhere for them to go with these you go right through to the bottom I mean there's a hole so the roots can start growing out the hole and then when you You'll know when to transplant it when that happens, and then you just take it, put it in some dirt, and the roots can keep going until this fully degrades. Because often I've had some succulents, and I've had a few other plants that this part hasn't fully um, decomposed yet, and the roots start um, not being able to get anywhere, and the plant goes into shock and then dies. So I really like this option. Um... I would pick these at the moment because I haven't really experimented with these, but I would say these are your best bet for starting out. These, I think, take a little bit longer to decompose. I could be wrong. But I think this is the best option. And I've also heard that there's cut worms in the dirt, and I've experienced a few problems with my seedling trays, but I've heard that putting a paper... Um, Putting a toilet paper roll around the roots will help the seedlings get mature enough to where the cutworms won't eat them anymore. They just cut them right off at the soil, so it kills the roots and the top of the plant just falls over. Um, I'm hoping that this, since it's like both paper, I'm hoping that this could possibly do the same job. I guess I'll have to do more research. So first, get a piece of paper, a piece of newspaper, um, 
and I would take out these little sections. Alright, this is a newspaper that they just give us for free. I don't need it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys the measuring. Alright, so you should measure them 10 inches for the wrapping around and 4 inches for the height. The this paper newspaper is about fourteen inches. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mark it at ten. And I'm gonna take this and mark it every four inches. So there's four inch, wait, one, two, three. Oh, I was wrong. Four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. All right. So first I'm going to take this mark, the 10 inch mark that I made. And I'm going to cut all the way across. And then... I'm going to take my marks here and here, and I'll cut the strips. And this, to me, is like perfect because you're recycling. Um, they're fully biodegradable. Um, I'm not using tape to keep them together. I'm using this um, glue. And it's easy on the roots. Alright, so... Here's the strips. These are, I guess, going to be shorter because they're not four inches, but that's okay. Now you see this is still folded, so we'll cut. Boom. Now this is what's left. Let's measure this. This is a little over four inches and about ten. So why don't we just use these as a bit bigger containers? I also wanted to say that I did try it using a bigger container. Um, and I tried it by using the nozzle of a bottle. And it just doesn't turn out the same. I would con I would continue to use these uniform toilet paper rolls because I think it just it doesn't it creates this perfect cylinder it doesn't have um, different sizes different widths all right so let's pick out some paper to start so I'll get you a slice of paper and we're just gonna let it hang, overhang a little bit right here and just wrap it right around the toilet paper roll. I try to get it even. And then here at the bottom, we just tuck it under. I might need a little bit more. There we go. And then just tuck it all in there. Okay, and I like to make sure it's all in there. And then you can pull it off, and you have yourself this little tube. So I think we'll make one more. Let's use the thinner paper. We ended up getting these like little bit skinny ones. They're going to be end up just a little bit shorter because they're not four inches, but they are ten. So now let's just. Wrap it around in there like that. And then pull it off. Bing, bang, boom. We got it. Alright, so now we need got one part water, one part flour, and a paintbrush to mix it with. 
I'm just going to get this goopy, 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 goopy. Just keep mixing it until there's no more chunks. And this stuff, when it dries, it acts like glue, but it also is super degradable. A lot of planters, I think, use this. Alright. So now I'm going to take a little bit of it. Wipe it down the side. And seal it. Alright, there's one. And take a little more glue. Wipe it down the side. Bing, bang, boom. Let's try one that I already did. Alright. There you go. Now, after you have all these and you let them dry for like 10 minutes, you need a tray to put them in. And this is an example of a tray that I have. I would probably use something that has draining holes. I just got this at Walmart. Um, and you're just going to want to place them in there like this. I honestly couldn't tell you if they should be touching or not. Um, when I started my sunflower and my corn, I start, put them together and they ended up mold, getting like some fungi and mold in them. Um, but you can try whatever. Maybe it'll work for you. If, let me know if they're touching, if it helps. I think they, I would think they would need some air movement. Alright, so you got all your seedling cups, or, um, starters, put some soil in here, some of the nice soft seed starting soil, I would recommend um, coconut husk or peat moss, uh, make sure it just drains well because they don't like boggy uh, um, topsoil, they don't like the planting, um, the potting soil yet. Um, I would recommend compost and peat moss or the co the coconut husk because to me those have been the ones that allow the seedlings to come out um, a lot quicker and healthier. Um, and then don't forget you got you got to put your seeds in there too. I love my morning glories. I hope that I have a whole fence of different colored morning glories this year. I'm going to be fancy. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see me do more videos about starting seeds. Have a great day.